Hello, Walter. How are you today? I'm pretty good. Yourself? Oh, it's an honor to speak with you. I've been a fan since I first saw the Devil in a Blue Dress film, but also wow. I'm a comic book fan. So that Maximum maximum Fantastic Four got me as well. Hey, listen, I just wanted to say, I, I just had a, a series come out from Marvel about the thing. Ooh. It's, it's a six episode series. I mean, it has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but I, it, 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 I think it, it's up to number five. It's six episodes. Five of them are out. Well, comic book fans that watch our channel will love that as well. But right. switching to this series, I absolutely think your work is perfect for adaptations. Were you excited to bring this to life in the medium of a TV series? I was excited to try to bring it to life in the medium of a TV series. And I'm very relieved now that it's, it, I think, works so beautifully. Hmm. You know? it, it does. It's a, it's a very powerful show. It's hard hitting as well. Were you nervous tackling such a, a hard hitting subject or was this something that you really wanted to get off your chest? Uh, yeah, I, my, my mother, when, when she went through dementia, it was like, I had to be with her, uh, not necessarily physically, but I had to be with her the whole time along the way, having conversations, you know, this week, uh, we could talk like this. This week, it has to change a little and be like that. That I, I had was it was so close of an experience that um, I wasn't afraid because I, I, it was it was part of me. Yeah, it, it you can tell there's something very personal in how you depicted this from the novel to the series as well. So I do appreciate that. I mean, me and my mom play a game where I have to quiz her on soap opera knowledge just to make sure it's still all there. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I love the little things, especially like the Reggie and uh, Ptolemy relationship. Did you want to depict that really, in a short time period, that really hard hitting relationship between two black men, especially? You know, I did. And I, I, was, I, I wrote it. And I rewrote it and I rewrote it. And when I talked to my, you know, I had a, a, a writing partner who was, you know, wonderful, Jerome Harrison. And, uh, you know, I was, you know, do, did all of that. And finally it, it went out to them and they just made it so much deeper. I, that, that, that's what's great about doing it like this. I thought I wrote it pretty good, I, you know, really. But when they took it, I think they thought the same thing. And they said, well, listen, we can, we can go even further because it's not necessarily lines, but it's just how we're going to be together. You know? and, and, you know, and, and the actors, one of the wonderful things about that is the actors kind of develop that relationship. Yeah. And so it, it wasn't only true on the set. It was like any time you saw them, th that was how they were being. And then you, know, you, you see something really beautiful. Yeah, any good actor can elevate a material. Not that your work needs to be elevated, but no, I definitely but, think they brought yeah. so much more life into it. Yeah, yeah, they now, breathe life into it. Yeah, yeah. when crafting this, I, I don't know how writers are, but were you envisioning someone to play your lead character? And was it Sam Jackson? Because it's the perfect choice. Like, it's so good. Sam is the perfect choice. However, I never think about actors when I'm mm. writing. I, even, when I'm writing books, definitely not. But okay. even when I'm, I'm, I'm writing for the screen, I just don't think about it that, you know, I think about what I want, what the character is doing, but I don't think about the actor who's going to be that character. Okay. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, cause the actor has to fit it. You know, I, yes. I don't have to fit them, you know, at least that's what I think. Oh, oh, I actually never would have thought of it like that. That's a very good yeah. way of looking at it. And I think that's important. I think you got a very good choice. Now I know this is a personal subject for you and I know this, this film or the series is very strong <laughs> as well but is there a memory you would like to keep this series has got me thinking of a memory i would want to cherish forever is there one memory you would want to keep locked away so you never lose it wow that's such a, a it's a, listen that's a beautiful question uh and i've never thought of it before so mm. I, and and i i don't trust myself just to to, to come up with it but you know it's any memory that I that that's the deepest would have to go all the way back to when I was a child, and my and my deepest experience as a child was with my father. Okay, I think that you know that if if I lost him, almost everything else would be gone. That was very beautiful, and I think yeah. that shows in in your writing as well the yeah. attachment to that fatherly figure. Thank you so much, Walter, for speaking with me today. It's an honor. You are Thanks an absolute legend. So thank you so much.